everybody welcome back to another nitro gang live stream now i wasn't going to do this but you know what i was a little bit excited i just got a brand new rc take a look oh yeah there it goes look at that cadillac escalade body it's incredible guys it's incredible let's see who we got in the chat right here Where's the live chat actually? Oh, we got Nathan Duentes right here. Nitro Gang in this piece. That's right, bro. Like I said before, in the live Nitro Gang stream just a little bit ago, I was going to go make a deal to buy a brand new RC. Well, here it is. I just got it. There's only one person watching, but you know what? One person. And just like sometimes one gear is all you need. This is one of those times. So guys i haven't even really fully gone over this right now and uh it, it's it's basically pretty incredible so let's wait for some people to come here into the stream i am outside right now in uh, not the normal location uh this is the roof of my prius i am by a bowling alley right there behind me that's a bowling alley right and right behind me is like a giant uh, highway. There's a bunch of traffic on my way home. Hopefully I'll stop off at Walmart um, because I'm in Jersey now and got to go to Walmart, guys. So where, where's the chat? I can't see the chat, guys. Come on. So let me give you a look at the T-Max that I got here. Two-speed baby from Jason Brinkman. What's up, bro? Check this out. I just picked this up right now. I haven't even looked under the body. I am so excited. This is a awesome Cadillac Escalade body. Escalade, you see that? We're becoming rich on this channel. Three-speed baby from Canada right here. Tech Greedy RC. Yo, yo guys, look at everything I just got. This is incredible. I'm not even using my normal camera. We're going live on my phone. It looks like the people are coming into the chat. I'm happy. Guys, I wasn't gonna do this. I'm doing this for you. Some of it is for me because I'm just so damn excited. But. We got parts. I have not even opened this box yet. This is the original Traxxas T-Max 3.3 body. It's like new. We have a couple Proline tires, right? Proline, what does that say? Some Proline tires right there. And uh, I'm pretty far away from most of the other cars because how often do you see a dude in a Prius, you know, with RCs basically on the hatch of their car? Almost never. Oh, the online hobby guy. What's up, my dude? What's up? Thumbs up for you. Thumbs up. Look at that. We got ourselves a Cadillac body. It's beautiful. Look at that suspension. Now, this one is not a nitro, and I said I will not be getting a nitro, right? This is a damn electric conversion, and it's very, very nice. So, let's see. I'll probably remove the body in a little bit. I'm just too excited, guys. Look at this. Look at the shocks on this. Oh, it's on my rear uh, thing here, so... Nitro Freak, what's up, bro? What's going on? Yep, rocking the Escalade body. So let's flip the camera. Guys, I just right now picked this up. I am on location, you know, uh, by a bowling alley right there in the parking lot, talking and yelling because I have an RC in my hands. Okay, and I know it's late. Basically, where I am right now, it's uh, past 9 o'clock p.m., but... Dude, do, do, do you see these tires? Do you see that Cadillac body? It, it is incredible. And if I can share the buy, the purchase that I just made with you guys, well, that's what I'm doing, okay? So this is a very custom uh, electric conversion. So the reason I wanted this is because, well, it's still a T-Bex, baby. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what it is a little up close here. Uh, Marcus says not classic. Yeah, that's right. This is uh, the 3.3 chassis. So we have ourselves some pretty sick looking uh, body mounting systems here. Let's remove this. I haven't even looked uh, under the body myself personally. So guys, this is as exciting for you as it is for me, to be honest with you. So uh, as I said before, this is where your Nitro Gang donations go into, okay? Anyone walking up to me? No. You over there. Get back. It's my, it's my RC. It's mine. Okay. Actually, it belongs to the entire uh, Nitro Gang right here. Oh, yeah. 
Nitro Freak says, dig the sunroof. I know, bro, it's, it's awesome. So I just got to wash the inside of this body and it will be amazing. Bowling alley right over there in the back, by the way. Oh, Manuel Maldonado, big time. Nitro Gang donations. He goes, night time Nitro shenanigans. That's right, bro, like I said, you know, from now on, when I'm gonna be having fun with RC, so are the rest of you, okay? Because that's where your donations are going. So let's remove the body. And I'm actually excited myself. The guy was super cool that I just met, wow. Uh, the reason I wanted this is because it's a very, very nice uh, electric conversion, guys. So this is what people used to do years ago. You used to get a T-Max, gut all of it, you know, get yourself a huge electric motor mount, put a single speed from the regular Emax here, the newer generation Emax, get yourself a giant ESC, uh, put a giant Traxxas motor. So the guy told me, the owner, cool dude, hopefully he watches this video later. He told me that uh, basically this is from the Traxxas Max, uh, from the newer, the, the 110 scale Max. So this is a 4S rated uh, VXL ESC, guys. I don't have a battery right now, right? Because I'm not in the electric gang. Uh, I'm in the nitro gang, so don't expect me to have a battery. But guys, even the suspension is tuned. Wow. It is. This, this is a very nice electric conversion. So to do this years ago would have cost you super big bucks. Let me flip this again. Once again, I appreciate the Nitro Gang donations. Um, you know, I didn't know whether this deal was gonna go down, but take a look. It's a T-Max 3.3 with a full electric conversion. Pretty nice electronic system, honestly. Like for me to build something like this, it would be basically, I would say, uh, more than I paid for this whole car. And I, I am very happy with the buy. Look at this, guys. I'm gonna show you the bottom maybe a little bit. Kind of hard for me because it's night. Look at that. Ah! Heavy, it's heavy, guys. Basically, brand new. Look at that. Nothing going on. T Max 3.3 with the damn electric conversion, guys. This is going to be a first for this channel. And oh, uh, let's see what else we got. We don't have much light here. So he told me that this does have the metal. Oh, yeah, I could tell right. Let me flip this around. Oh, I'm doing as much as I can here on location for you guys. So let's see. Uh, inside, we have. What is this? Yeah, so it sounds, this is what it looks like basically. The ESC is huge. I've honestly never seen an ESC this big in my life. Okay. Man, the chassis is super clean. The wheels are really nice. I'm gonna flip the camera here a little bit. Man, this body, it, it is amazing. I've never seen such a nicely painted and trimmed body. Beautiful Cadillac body. Look at that. I know you want it. Uh, I just have to clean the inside of it because it's like really dirty. Unfortunately, I don't have a battery now to test it out. We also have the original Traxxas body. This has uh, the remote. I don't care about the remote, but it's good to know that it has one. So I will have to put in my own radio system in this, obviously, and, and battery. But there's still plenty of room here to mount the battery pack, so that should be good. Oh, Mark, what's up? What's going on? Uh, Tegrity RC says it's 4S, right? Yes. So this is the 4S system from the 110 scale max. I would say very, very good system. Like if you were going to buy something like this, it would cost you more to build this. Then yeah, so the system works. I could, oh, oh, we got RCs falling. Got to be careful. I just got this. Just got this. Come on. Come on, guys. All right. So yeah, as I'm spinning it, I could see. So honestly, to convert a T-Max into an electric is not cheap. You would need to do a whole bunch of transmission work, like custom gears, the motor mount. Look at this. This is, I think, the 540L motor, they call it. We have the really tall custom body mounts here for that Cadillac. So obviously the T-Max body that it came with originally, you know, it's not going to fit. So we have ourselves. Yeah, I've never seen body mounts this tall, but it's, it's really tall. It's pretty cool, I got to say. Uh, some extra wheels right here. And we have some parts. You guys want to take a look at the parts? Uh, Team Builds 1.0 says, could you make it success if you wanted to? You know what? Uh, I'm not sure if this is, I'm not like a, an electric gang expert, but this is a 4S rated ESC. If anybody knows, just put in the comments if this could run success. But personally, I don't see the need of running success. You know, it's a damn T-Max and it's good with that. 
Yeah, John D right here says, looks new. Uh, Nitro Fix answers, no, it can't run success. That's that's cool, yeah. Yeah, you'd have to change the ESC, says Kevin Trappin. So let's check out the parts. Guys, I have not even looked at the parts myself. I'm trying to use some of this light that's over there, right? That's why I parked like a loser all the way in the back of the, of the bowling alley right over here in Jersey. But, you know, the Nitro Gang, me basically, I go on adventures by myself at night. I have work in the morning, but I'm happy to be able to buy more nitros and share it with all of you guys, you know? Um, there's actually a whole bunch of traffic on the way home for me right now, so I'm probably gonna chill here for like a half hour, hit up a Walmart, get home at like midnight, maybe. We'll see how that goes, you know? But I'm, I'm, I'm a little excited. I got natural excitement. I didn't even have coffee before I came to do this buy. So let's take a, a continued look at the parts here we go once again big thanks for that big 24.99 donation that means a lot to me so we have some shock spacers right some traxxas stickers basic stuff here well lucky for me i run a whole bunch of traxxas i could always use stuff like that oh man look at this we have some heavy duty performance traxxas accessories uh so it looks like we have the ring gear and the input gear for something so yeah, ring gear, differential pinion gear, machine spiral cut. Some pretty serious stuff like, man, just stuff like this is like fairly expensive. Looks like we had some experimentation here with aluminum diff cases. So this one has the regular diff case in the back here, but this is a 3.3 model in terms of the, the Revo spec. So it should be fine actually. We have another full, I've never seen this one, CPV. What the hell is that? Yeah, everyone in the comments seems to like it. Oh, we have ourselves a uh, an adapter. I might need this, you know, because since I'm not really part of the electric gang, I do not have a lot of this electric stuff. Looks like we got ourselves a couple diffs, baby. Good for me. Actually, I could use this on one of my Emacs's. Some stickers, some other stuff. Oh, stuff falling, guys. Stuff is falling. We can't be losing it. Here we go. What else we got over here? I'm excited, man. There's nothing like it. Some steering knuckles. I need this, actually. We have a, a metal spur gear. Yeah, the, the seller told me this was in, in the box. I don't know why it's not on. It seems to be in very good shape here, though. So, guys, if I had a battery right now, this thing would be damn running this parking lot right now. I would jump the roof of my Prius, okay? I did it in a video. I did it. And it'll happen again. Look at this. It's amazing. Let's close up this box. So this body, right? The T-Max body. Obviously, it won't fit now because we have like crazy uh, body mounts. Yeah, we got a Jerry Jason, Jersey Jason Gas RC says, I like those tires. Yeah, bro. I, I don't think I've ever seen these particular Duratrax treads, the hatchet MT with like the red lettering. Unless somebody wrote this. I'm not sure. It might be written in. Uh, hatchet MT. It look, oh yeah, it looks like the owner wrote this in. But dude, I, I gotta say, it looks kind of original. It's not. I, I'm pretty sure it's not. Let's get rid of this radio. Unfortunately, you know, I can't even really test it out right now because I'm not an electro gang. So I can't, uh, I don't even have a 4S battery tested out. So I'm gonna have to get some uh, batteries. Yeah. Oh, we got Tiger DRC telling me he's gonna send me some links for batteries. That's cool, bro. Yeah, the shocks are incredible. So this is all it takes, guys, to get yourself a, uh, an electric converted T-Max. You basically have like this tall stand-up electric motor mount. And on top, you have a little surface area here to mount whatever ESC you want to use. On the sides, you have a whole bunch of chassis space for your batteries. So honestly, dude, even the damn electric converted T-Max does not piss me off. It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's honestly beautiful. You know, they thought of everything. Let's put this body back on because I think it's all about that uh, the Escalade gang over here. We got the Escalade body gang. Oh, I don't know where the main things are here. So it looks like you're supposed to screw in. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. The Escalade gang is in. So a pretty cool trick body. I gotta say, I, I, I'm really liking the look of this. This thing is pretty serious. For some reason, not all of your comments are showing up, guys. So that's why I'm not uh, reading 
a lot of them. Oh, Mark says, I don't comment on your feed anymore. Uh, yeah, something because I don't really fit in over there. No, bro, everyone belongs here. If you're into the RCs, if you're into making Arma Gang jokes, everyone belongs here, okay? Yeah, Nitro Freak says, yes, you do. Oh, I think they, they're having their own conversation. That might not have been towards the Nitro Gang over here. But you guys take care of it. I don't want you to fight. We're all in this together. Yeah, Mark says, not you, hybrid. Sorry, bro. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now we still cool, man. Everyone cool on this channel, okay? Oh, RC Guy Garage is in the house. What's going on, my dude? He goes, hybrid going hybrid with a T-Max. Bro, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I drove a hybrid to get myself an electric converted hybrid T-Max. <laughs> oh, that was funny. RC Guy Garage, you're a funny dude. <laughs> that was a good joke. Actually, uh, the seller and I, let me flip this a little bit. Oh, it's sweaty. It's still hot out here in New York City. Actually, the seller and I, <laughs> we joked around about the fact that I purposely drive a Prius. And, uh, well, most of my RCs are nitro and gas, right? But this one, it's a damn electric converted T-Max. Okay, and I'm very excited, guys. Look at this. Oh. You know what? It's actually pretty, well, the wheels are very heavy on it. So this is it, guys. Look, look at that chassis spotless wow escalate baby escalate at night oh let me flip this gotta put it down oh let's get ourselves a nice little thumbnail for later guys right here rc guy garage save money for more rcs that's right bro that's why i buy a lot of used stuff uh i paid take a guess how much guys oh jersey jason gas rc how much so I talked about this in today's live stream before. I think some of you guys already know how much I paid for this. Whoa, Cadillac, baby. Uh, people saying 125, Tegrity RC saying 100. Tegrity, come on, man, come on. This is a high value RC item for a connoisseur of remote control products. High value. We got a bunch of extra tires over here. We got a damn beautiful T-Max body, you know? That's, that's my replacement body for whenever I battle another X-Max and he drives over me. For those of you that don't know, we got a whole bunch of parts. We got a radio. Okay, I'll tell you guys, it was uh, 150, yeah. Nitro Freak says 150, so the asking price was 150. I first offered 100, the guy said no. And you know what, Th this is worth the asking price, it's worth more. So I'm at 150 on this right here. I I'm pretty happy. Oh, Team Builds 1.0 says, come visit us at Brooklyn Hobbies. You know what? I might go. I actually been to uh, a Brooklyn Hobby store a couple years ago, but this was way before like the whole Nitro Gang. I think at that time I was probably running the first ever Traxxas uh, slash VXL, which I still have. And, um, you still got to have a slash, you know, because like the four to one nitro to electric ratio, it's adequate. Uh, by the way, this particular one could be excluded from the four to one nitro to electric ratio. You want to know why, guys? Because it's super rare. It's a custom built electric conversion. It started out as a nitro. So therefore, you can actually exclude this from the ratio. I'm allowed to have as many of these as I want, but I only really need one. Um, the main reason I wanted to get it is because, guys, it, it, it's just su super damn cool, you know. And um, you got to have them all. It's still a damn T-Max. And personally, I, I like the aluminum T-Max chassis. I also do have an E-Max, but you just can't kill the T-Max, baby, okay? Oh, Nitro Freak, he says, free shit, bro. That's right. That's what's about to go down. This, guys, the kind of stuff I do at night. You see the sparking lot I'm at right now? It's a bowling alley over there. I wonder how much they charge. Well, you know what? They're not gonna get me to pay for shoe rentals because all the money on this channel, it goes to basically buying RCs, okay? All of it, 100%, and about 95% of my own money because donations never get anywhere to uh, reality, but that's okay. We got Tucker Carlson saying, should I get a Nitro Rustler? You know what? Everybody should have at least one Nitro Rustler. It's a very good platform to learn on, but um, 
I recommend the T-Max 3.3 baby, okay? Because it's a little more money, yeah, but there's a lot more fun to be had with it. So that that's that's what I'll say. Okay, guys, thanks for uh, watching. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I think, unfortunately, I don't have a battery here to test this thing out, right? Uh, unfortunately, this will not run on nitro. I tried and there's just no gas tank. That's a joke. That's a damn joke. <laughs> oh, we got someone saying, I love your channel. Uh, the username is in characters. I can't read that, unfortunately. I'm sorry, bro. Nitro electric hybrid. Uh, pretty much, you could say that. You, you could say that. So, my previous right here today, guys, I got about 55 miles a gallon. You know, it was like a 30 mile trip for me, maybe, maybe 20. So, I'm happy. Got plenty of money guys to buy RCs who knows what the next deal is going to be I don't even know I actually just started making this deal tonight and I talked about this in the earlier nitro stream so thank you all for not trying to buy this right from under me because I told you what I was gonna buy I told you how much I was gonna pay and I told you the listing so you basically could have found it so thank you for appreciating that I paid once again I'll say it for those that didn't uh, hear uh, 150 for all this and I, I would say it's a very good deal very very good deal right here look at that escalate baby it's beautiful look at that It even has a damn sunroof. Yeah. This is my first uh, live stream, like on location. How's the stream quality? You guys tell me right here, I'm gonna read it. Integrity RC says, does it open? Does the sunroof open? No, it's just a, a Lexan uh, cutout here. But once I wash it, this thing will be super cool. I'm thinking this will be a great place to mount like some lights or something over here, you know? Yeah, people really liking the quality. I've been making substantial investments in my uh, phone technology, my camera technology, but most importantly, in the RC stable, okay? And this is the newest one we got. Man, I can't help looking at it. That's why I keep holding it so you guys could really have an understanding of just how nice this Escalade body is. Beautiful. Look at that. It's like art, baby, it's damn art. Yeah, thanks for telling me guys uh, that the stream quality is very good. Honestly, I'm very surprised. I have like the cheapest cell phone service you could possibly get, okay? Basically the cheapest there is. Uh, and it's good, all right. No one bothering me here right now, nighttime. I'm out here by the lights, got natural lighting. Gonna stop off at Walmart on the way home, maybe get myself some donuts on the way home, you know? Oh, I'm in Jersey actually. You guys know what happens when I go to Jersey? I get Taco Bell. So maybe, well, if it's open, it's basically like, what time is it? I don't know, what time is it right now? Can't tell what time it is, because I'm on the stream. Probably like 10 or something, who cares? The time doesn't matter. Oh, what's up, Benjamin Martinez? What's up, bro? Where in New Jersey, he says. Uh, this is Woodbridge. This is a bowling alley. Uh, I'm not sure what the, yeah, uh, if you want to look it up, this is Majestic Bowling Alley. Majestic, baby. Yeah, close to me, Benjamin Martinez. That's right, bro. Yeah, so I'm about to roll home in a little bit. Uh, I just consulted the Google Maps. Severe traffic on my way home. So I figured why not waste some time that I would normally be sitting in traffic and talk to the entire Nitro gang out here. So for those of you that just came, man, I see the Nitro stream numbers are going up over here. Oh, Danielle McDonald, Daniel McDonald, 924, thanks bro. I almost didn't know what time it is. You know, when you're talking about new RCs that you just got, you lose track of time in your head. So, right here, yeah baby. I am excited. This is my first uh, actual nitro to electric conversion, guys. I have never had one. The reason is the cost of actually building one 
you know like if you don't already have the electronics and the specific custom motor mounts it's fairly substantial so you know personally myself i do not want to spend money on electrics that i would not spend on getting more nitros okay does that make sense i mean it kind of makes sense to me yeah we got tugger erc right here uh yeah we got uh jason gas rc he says yeah the toll so just so you know the amount of tolls like in my local area to get here that i had to pay let's say including gas it's probably about twenty dollars okay so twenty dollars just to come and get this so living like what's known as the tri-state uh, rape road area uh i just made that up the, the there's no actual road named rape road but basically every single toll is is, is a rapist okay uh, in terms of raping you for your nitro gang bucks but guys here we go we even got our new t-max body and let me tell you right now you can never have enough t-max bodies guys oh there's people right there pulling up in an ultima are you looking at me you want to come in the stream they're probably armor owners <laughs> i'm just joking i don't know what it is with the armor gang jokes man they never end they never end guys happy look, what a look at these wheels these are pro line bow tie very nice so it looks like originally these were i think 12 12 millimeter hubs maybe 14 maybe 14 i don't know uh the owner told me that he did do i'm gonna flip the camera again the owner told me that he did a 17 millimeter hub conversion on this so man a lot of money was spent this looks like the brand new traxxas id connector uh since i know almost very little about id connectors I'm just gonna have to solder up my own Dean's connector sooner or later. It's gonna happen, but this body, oh my God, guys, it's beautiful. If I could, I will put this on the roof of my Prius and just roll. But of course, the cop gang out there, they're probably not gonna let that happen, guys. Not gonna let that happen, look, it's beautiful. What's up, Mark? He goes, hey, gurus, welcome, welcome, man, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. I'm glad to have everybody here. Live stream, baby of me getting a brand new, well used, electric converted T-Max. Oh, Louie976, two-speed baby from California. What's up, my dude, what's up? So, very happy, guys. As soon as I get home, probably later. Oh, Ultima trying, trying to leave, They're trying to leave right there. See ya, bro, get out, get out, get out. All right, trying to make noise over here. Yeah, people telling me to go Nerf Craft says probably better than going XT60. Yeah, it's something I have to consider. So all of my batteries currently, which are very few, right? Because I don't run uh, electrics much. Uh, they're all Deans. I generally use Deans. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Jaws right here. My man out. Jersey at night pointing at cars. That's right, bro. You know what? When you have an RC like this, you're super brave. Okay? It doesn't matter what's going to happen. They could do whatever they want. I'll point at that car and I'll make fun of it. And I'll tell them to buy a Prius. Okay? Because this is how reality actually is for me right now. Right, guys? It's cool. It's all good. It's all good. Look at these stickers. You think I put these tracks of stickers on my Prius for no reason? No. There's a reason for every sticker right here, baby. All right. Look at that. So time to flip the camera right here. Yeah, someone just said, need your voice for extended warranty calls. Yeah, man, I'm gonna bully them into giving you your extended warranty, okay? I'm gonna tell them, yo guys, I have this Nissan Altima. You know, I got a wheel bearing problem, brand new car. What's the warranty? No, it's not my fault. I live in Jersey. There's a bunch of potholes everywhere. You telling me you sold me a car? that can't handle a Jersey road? What's wrong with you? It must be an electric gang. I'm just kidding. It's a lot of hype. For some reason, when I get new RCs, man, I'm, I'm like totally hyped up. It's a problem, guys, it's a problem. But it's also fun. <laughs> yeah, Jersey Jason Gas RC with a laughing face. That's right, bro, that's right, that's right. All right, guys, meet my new electric conversion. You know, I can't test it out as I said, I'm sorry, because uh, I'm on scene right now in a parking lot of a bowling alley 
donut cellar just left. Um, I'm a little hungry, a little thirsty. I might go to a gas station, might go to a Walmart. Who, who cares? Okay, because at the end of the day, when you know you have about three or four T Maxes at home, you're always gonna be happy. Okay, and when you know you have something that used to be a T Max that's now part of the electric gang, you're not that upset. It's something you rationalize, okay? I guess you could call this a damn hybrid, so to say. And of course, this uh, Escalade body is amazing. Once again, just picked all this up, guys. All of this for only 150 bucks. It's honestly very rare that I get such good deals. Usually, like the RCs I get are like basically trash, uh, or they need a whole bunch of work, you know. Okay. All right, guys. That's it. Looks like some people over there from the bowling alley leaving. Leaving. You guys, you can see them. Yeah, they're leaving. Yep. All right, Nitro Gang. Time for me to call it a day. Figure out how to actually end this stream on my phone. I have no idea. You know? And then, I'm going to have a good night. You guys have a good night. Thanks for the donations on this channel. And I got two words for you. Two speed baby. Hold on. That's three damn words. Shit. Three. I got three words. I got three words for you. Three speed baby. Shit. I got, I got it all mixed up. That's what happens when you got uh, <laughs> too much RC on the brains. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for checking out this stream. I'll do a more in-depth, um, you know, look at this chassis. Obviously, when I'm home, when I have better lighting, when I, in fact, myself have tested it. When I'm not sweating balls on my face over here. So see you later. Thanks for checking in. It's a little late night RC stream for you. I'm out.